you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Hey guys, what's going on here today and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you some low filters guys, like some pretty much good sniping filters for lower coins between 5 and 20k to help you guys with budget coins. In my streams I just keep getting people asking me like how to trade with lower coins. So between like 5 to 20k is more um, of a suitable one. So I thought I'd show you this one first guys. You see here on the left forward method, the cheapest gold card goes for around 1.7. So if you look here of course you see... 1.7 and there's a lot of them so you want to sell them at 1.6 obviously so you want to put in here gold um, 1.4 just so you can sell them like you can make profit on every single one so if you go gold left forward on 1.4 and sell them on for 1.6 you either do this like this guy just keeps sniping this is for around 5k coins or 10k it's a really handy method uh, to make you some quick coins nice and easy I wanted to help you guys out again with that because I keep getting asked to that lower coins and I want to make sure you can make coins easy and you see here straight away look 1k for El Shirawe win that one sell it on for 1.6 I mean that's 500 coins profit so you only have 5k that's 10% of your coins you've just increased so I mean list that one up then guys if you want you can go on the bids here and go 1.4 I mean there's a lot of bids so you might want to go 1.3 actually just to ensure that no one's bidded 1.4 and you do it by mistake so you want to literally just go in here now and just bid like I don't know 1.2 or whatever on all of these I mean it don't go too far because the timing goes up quite a lot the problem with right forward is there's um fog and hazard which kind of ruins this now so you want to go in at 1-2 and just skip through to the 59th minute this is a bit of a difficult one so if you haven't got the patience don't do it but if you look here the only for right forward of 1.2k is fog and hazard so if you go to 1.5 now and then put in 1.2k you can kind of get what they're going for here but the thing is you can only bid using this method here you can't do by now so because there's just so many fog and hazards if you look i mean you're non-stop i'm 11 pages in look you see now there's some players up at around 1.3 so if you now want to go in here and bid at like nine, oh God, about 1k uh, 9.50 i'd say to bid for 1k you can sell them on for 1.2 i mean obviously you have to filter out the ones you want like lingard hazard and um, not the hazard sorry all these other players here like this guy for example refalov yeah so stuff like that that's the first method guys really really simple the next one now is going to be shadow if you go into shadow you'll see the cheapest player in shadow is 1.2k but that's not a defender you want defender for shadow so if you look here about 1.8k okay they've, can you, they've gone up a little bit more 1.9k actually is the cheapest one here so obviously you want to sit at 1.9 but you want to obviously snipe them for a little bit less. So I'd say 1.5 to sell on for 1.9 because they will sell on at that price if they're a rare gold. If not, list them for 1.8. Um, then they're guaranteed to sell as cheapest on the market. So yeah, I want to sit here. With them being like 1.2 up on the market, guys, people will just list the cheapest price in the shadow and not look at the defender, for example. So it is always a handy thing to look at. Uh, when you do things like this so here we go now hope you can see one if not I'll show you the bidding technique guys this one isn't as good as the left forward one but it's still pretty effective there's not so many people doing this I don't think so obviously when they come up you tend to win them but yeah um, just searching through here now hopefully one will come up but if not never mind um, but yeah you can see for yourselves how good each method is and test these out honestly I've done it on the stream a few times and I have picked up some deals um, so yeah we'll go into here now and just bid at like 1.5 I mean, if you look, 18 minutes in, actually, to be fair, it's not that great. But if you add these to watch list, some of these, I mean, you can definitely sell them on um, for profit. I mean, if you look at 1.8 again here, uh, there's none. It's 1.9, sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, nothing really been listed, so a bit weird there. If you look at 2K, maybe you might have to see some good deals. But um, like Masuaku here, for example, we'll check his price now. This could be a deal. Masuaku. If you go to 3k, if there's no others up, you'll buy it. But you can sell that on for 2.5 if you have the patience, guys. If you have more coins, you could definitely sell that one on for 2.5. I mean, same with Kimmich here. There was a Kimmich up as well. So, yeah, you can always check the certain player, guys, if you have the patience to wait. I mean, for example, that Kimmich was definitely up for around 2k, wasn't it? Because um, I only had 2k in, and it sold on. It was going for 2.8. So, someone's probably done that right there. So, it's always a pretty handy method. If you have more coins, you can actually do that. Maybe not so much for, like, uh, 10k. Because it will take a while to sell on, but yeah, it's always a decent method here. You're seeing Hunter Striker now. These might be some deals here. Uh, 2.1k for Xavier Hernandez there, but no, sadly not. It seems like the going rate has dropped a little bit for these, unfortunately. But it's still easy money. I mean, Musa there for 1.3. We won't win that, of course, because we weren't looking at it. But yeah, 2k is the cheapest, so you get 2-1. 
tier 3 players up. If you look at anything in a hunter there, you'll see here they're all 2.1k. So pretty much uh, as centre backs and everything. So you can snipe here now. I'd go 1.6k or even I'd go 1.7 actually because only 100 coin pack. You want to make 200 coins profit at least on every card that you see. And you want to literally just sit here and snipe. This is a hard one, guys. There's a lot of people doing it. If you're good at sniping, I'd really recommend doing it. Because this is the most effective one, but there's also more people doing it, obviously, because it's the most effective one. So, yeah, it's not always the easiest to do, but hopefully we can get a deal. If not, um, yeah, uh, you've seen for yourself as a mooser up anyway. But you see here, 1.6k for Nabi Kate, a great deal there, actually. An 83 rated card. Um, I don't believe he's any higher priced, no. So we'll listen up for 2k, because, why not, he'll sell on pretty quickly there. An 83 rated player, that's pretty crazy, actually. Because, I mean, he could be handy in the future if you could hold on to him if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd just sell them straight on. But, yeah, you see, we've won every deal we've had so far when we've been actually properly sniping. So, I mean, it's a pretty successful method. And if you want to see me test it out on stream later, guys, I will be streaming at around 7-ish. Uh, let's say 5-ish, sorry, 5.30, 5 o'clock, something like that. Just turn the notifications on, guys. There's a thing where you can do that, and then you can easily sell on. Bash your that would have been a really good deal. He's out of packs as well. Hope would have sold on for about 2.5k, but never mind. Um, nevertheless, we'll carry on here and hopefully try and get one more. I'm going to try and wait for one more deal to come up, guys, and then I will end the video there. You've seen for yourself here three really good filters, guys, that can make your profit very easily. And two shown with proof, actually. One of them because I couldn't really get a deal on, but if you want me to get it on stream later, I'll happily sit there and you can see how long it takes if you don't want to do it yourselves. But yeah, thanks to everyone that has watched the videos recently and watched the streams. I've had like 40, 50 viewers every stream, so really appreciate that. If you come along and support it, that'd be awesome. But yeah, thanks for the recent subs and whatever. If you are new, don't forget to sub. Drop a like as well on the video, guys. I'd be really appreciated if you could do that. Um, yeah, but uh, just going to try and get one more deal here and I will end the video. But um, yeah, hopefully if we go to 1085 and there's no deal, I'm going to end it there. But hopefully if you can just see one more, that would be very nice. Um... Come on. <laughs> no, I don't know that's going to be one, guys. Never mind. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to quickly show you the bidding technique. I mean, it's not so good the bidding on this one because everyone seems to check it out. I mean, you could bid on this guy here and sell him on for like 2k, but it's just not really worth it if I was you. I'd just stick to the buy nows on this one. Uh, I've obviously got like 2.1k or 2k or whatever it is. Yeah, 2.1k. You can see there's a few deals. I mean, the Ianacho and uh, Moose, I think it was, both sold on. But yeah guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.